folks, Rick here. I'm back with another video, and I'm here to do my latest unboxing of my, my latest car mount that I purchased for my car. Uh, just to get a quick little background in regards to why I'm buying another car mount, I purchased one of those suction cup car mounts. Um, you know, in the past, I had one or two that worked fine, um, but with the suction cup car mounts, it's kind of like hit or miss. I have one or two that have great suction. And I have another one or two that just keep falling off. So the last one that I purchased uh, for $7.99 off of Amazon, just after a month or two, just fell off and just refused to stick onto my dash. It was fine for a month or two, but then after that, I guess the uh, stickiness on the bottom of the suction cup was the only thing holding it onto my dash, and there really wasn't much suction. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. So real quick, I decided to uh, purchase my first magnetic um, car mount. One, because I just purchased a new car and I just wanted that low profile. If I could get into it, I don't have my unboxing knife with me, so bear with me guys. Okay. So I purchased it from a company called uh, Alari, or I'm not, probably not pronouncing it uh, properly. Alari, Aureli, whatever. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below of where I purchased it. I purchased it on Amazon, I believe, for about 10 bucks. Okay, so here's how it looks. Pull it out. So, what you have here is basically a magnetic ball. Okay, the base here is supposed to have uh, 3M adhesive, so it's supposed to be really strong and sturdy. And then you have the actual magnetic mount right here. So this would actually, oh, that's pretty strong. Uh, this actually magnetized to this. Uh, you'll put one of these plates in the case of your cell phone and it should stick. All right, guys, we're gonna try this real quick with my daughter's cell phone with a really thick plastic case and we're gonna see how strong these magnets are. So again, this is my first time actually using magnetic cases. So I just want to see how this works. The magnet for the most part seems fairly strong. So these magnetic, uh, I mean these steel uh, plates over here, they actually have 3M adhesive on the back of it. I guess in case you actually want to stick it to the back of your case. You could also stick it to the back of your phone, but I really don't suggest that because then you'll be stuck with a magnetic case on um, magnetic, um, strip on the um, steel magnetic strip on the back of your phone so I suggest actually placing it in the case I'm actually gonna put the, um, this inside like so and it actually adds no bulk or girth to the case and let's see if this actually works okay so even with a thick case the magnetic plate sticks so one of the features that they were uh, touting online is a lot of these magnetic um, if you see the back portion of it a lot of these magnetic uh, car mounts if you try to swivel it it'll kind of like bend off and they claim that this doesn't do that I guess the magnet is strong enough that it, it doesn't swivel off but as you can see it kind of did here so maybe a little false advertisement there but for the most part it seems to be working fine um, let's see this is a thick case. In addition to that, um, I purchased these other, it was like six bucks along with this. So I paid 15 bucks in total for everything. Uh, I purchased these additional magnetic strips. Now if you could see here where these steel plates, they're similar to the ones I just unboxed, but then you have these two longer plates I guess for more coverage so we're gonna try that and see if that helps remember this is a thick plastic uh, case so maybe by putting the bigger one here it might have more surface area more coverage and it might not pop off when I'm just moving it around okay so here we go magnetized okay it's on there Okay, so I'm seeing what they're saying. This does not pop off with the bigger plates, okay? So 
in the packaging itself with the O'Reilly or whatever the company is called, you get these little circle plates right here with their logo on it. These are good. However, for an extra five bucks, two or three bucks, you can find it on eBay. Uh, if you get these larger plates, you have more surface area to work with. And people who have larger phones, I suggest that you, uh, you spend the extra money, spend the four or five bucks and get these larger plates because then you have more surface area on the back of the phone and it really does not pop off when you're moving the phone around. So one of the biggest complaints uh, of people with magnetic cases actually are when you try to move it to the side over here, like with your two fingers, it'll just pop off. Or if we... <laughs> well, I guess it did actually pop off. But with all, with all honesty, I'm not actually, you know, it's not actually mounted properly. Um, this is a magnet, so there is some popping off, obviously, as we just demonstrated. So do I think these are a good option? I do, because if you're trying to stick to a certain type of look for your car, you're not trying to have a big bulky case, a big suction cup case on top of your dashboard, this is a great option. However, you do have some of those magnetic issues over there like we just demonstrated. So for the most part, the, mag uh, the, the magnetization is, is very strong. It, it does not flop off. It's on there very, very tight. Um, but if you are trying to flip it or rotate it, my suggestion would be to, uh, you know, kind of hold on to the edges of the phone so the rotation stays consistent and you don't flop your phone off the actual case okay i'll be doing uh, a second portion of this video actually installing this uh to my car but for the most part for 10 bucks low profile um you know what i mean you don't have to put anything on on your phone and uh i think this is a good buy if you have any comments leave in the comment section below all right guys, guys excuse me if the camera's gonna be a little bit wobbly i'm doing one-handed operations here but uh, the first thing you should do in your car, uh, I own a uh, Honda CRV. That's my Mets hat right there. Let's go Mets. Uh, I own a Honda CRV, and it was really difficult for me to find uh, a place where this will be flush. You know, my first instinct was to put it here, but this is more of like that soft material, and I think it really works best on hard plastics. So my other option was over here, but again, once I had my phone on the clip, it was kind of too far off. No, this is not my phone in my pink case. It is my daughter's. Uh, so no, I do not rock a pink phone. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So again, uh, feeling out my car, you should do the same with your car. Try to find a clean, flat surface to work with. Uh, this surface right here seemed to be the cleanest for me and the best location to put my clip. Uh, and I, I figured I'd put it right over here with the uh, 3M adhesive on the back. So this is where I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my clip. Um, and without further ado, let's get into that. So real quick, you wanna clean off the surface, make sure there's no dirt and grime. I do have a microfiber cloth right here. So that's what I'm working with. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick so I can take off the tape. Give me one sec. All right, guys, uh, I had a little bit of difficulty taking the adhesive off, but I finally got it off. So now we're going to make sure we're mounting it right where we want it. So this is exactly where I think it would fit best. Okay, so you're gonna apply some pressure on that to make sure the adhesive is sticking properly. You wanna give it a nice strong push for a couple of seconds as you can see right here it's on there pretty snugly and I think that should do it okay so I think we got that on there pretty snug um, right here again this is where I thought it would be best uh, for my personal taste uh, some people would think to mount it right here on the top for me, it was kind of blocking my view when I had the phone um, horizontally. So I decided to place it a little bit further down. Uh, some other people would say to put it on the vent with possibly like a vent clip. 
uh, but I found when you're using the heat or the AC in the car, your phone could get really hot and that's the last thing you really want with your phone, especially with lithium batteries. So again, just real quick, just to demonstrate because I'm filming on my phone how this works. Boom. I have a magnet on the, um, on the back of this case. So obviously you can rotate the phone any way you want. And again, for me, this works perfectly. Uh, if I want to see my, my stereo, obviously I'll turn it horizontally. If I, if I, if I want to, you know, use the, um, the phone in the other direction, I can go ahead and do so. I do lose a little bit of sight on my stereo, but again, because I have a magnet in the back of this, I could, I could rearrange the magnet anywhere I want. You know what I mean? I could pull it forward and back. And again, this rotates fine. It's not really slipping off. The magnet is uh, fairly strong. Uh, again, I'll show you how that works. The magnet is on there. I actually attached a separate magnet that I purchased on Amazon for five bucks. They have those smaller circular magnets that come with it, but I think invest, investing in a bigger uh, magnet plate right here, it's like five bucks for like three or four of them. It's really not that expensive. You slap that in between your case, you have a two-part case or you slap that um, you know underneath uh, any regular case and it should work just fine and then boom magnetized so it's right there so I know the 3m adhesive probably won't leave a mark or anything I'm hoping that it won't when I when I go to sell this car but uh, yeah guys that was the installation process of my magnetic car mounts uh, we're gonna try this out for a few weeks and uh, see how that uh, how that holds up and this was Rick and Valentino. And we're signing out. We'll catch you guys in the next.